everyone, this is Steve Weinshelp with Collider. I'm here at the Kia Telluride Supper Suite uh, talking to Chelsea Harris. How are you doing? I'm good. Um, Matter of fact, I'm great. The, the <laughs> thing is, so I want we're going to talk about Snowpiercer and Picard. Yes. And, yeah. But the funny thing is with both of these things, mm -hmm. you can talk and basically say nothing. <laughs> So it's like it's like talking in circles. <laughs> or am I wrong about this? No, you are absolutely right. It's the funniest thing is because everybody, especially when it comes to uh, Snowpiercer, people are like, so so like, is this before the film, or is this after the film? Because you know, Snowpiercer I've was based seen, off the oh, hundred percent off the comic. You sound like you're a fan. I, I have. I'm familiar with this material. I like you already. Right. I like you. <laughs> yeah, and so I mean, there's so many things that I want to be able to tell people because it's so good. But I can't. I understand. So let's, let's actually <laughs> start with Picard yeah. because um, I've not seen the premiere yet. Next Generation is one of my all-time favorite shows. Love it. I could not be more excited for this show. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about, are you in the premiere? or am I? So actually, no, I'm not in the premiere, okay. but my episodes start airing next week. Oh, got it. Yes. Oh, so let's talk about actually booking the gig yeah. because you can. Um, <laughs> how much did you know about Star Trek? And so let's start with that. You, okay, so I have to be super honest and say that growing up, Star Trek was always on TV because I grew up in Georgia. It came on after The Simpsons and before X-Files. <laughs> but I, I never really got into it when I was younger just because, I don't know, I, just, I, I was watching Disney Channel. Yeah. But when I did get this job and I went back and I had almost an entire month to watch old episodes from Next Generation, and I was actually blown away how relevant those episodes still are, the storylines, the things that the people were going through. I'm, I'm, I was like, holy cow, how, how did I get this? <laughs> how did I get this? For people that have never seen Next Generation, which is um, disappointing, um, I strongly recommend binging it. I think it's on Netflix. Mm -hmm. uh, it's such, and as you said, it's still so timely yeah. because the issues they were dealing with um, were, you know, sci-fi is a great metaphor. You can, you know. That's exactly it. And I didn't become a huge sci-fi fan up until at the very beginning of last year when, you know, when I got this opportunity. And it's funny because Snowpiercer also being sci-fi, uh, I think one of the reasons why I was able to also get that job is because I fell in love with the genre because of the fact that you can talk about things in this genre that you can't just like necessarily openly talk about in such an easy way, but it's a metaphor. Right? A hundred percent. Yeah. One of the reasons why I'm so excited about Picard, besides, uh, you know, Patrick Stewart, all the normal stuff is oh, yeah. Michael <laughs> Chabon mm -hmm. as a writer. I mean, he yes, is yes. a genius. Mm -hmm. um, so I definitely want to talk about the scripts and mm -hmm. maybe what surprised you about these scripts versus maybe what you were expecting. Well, you know, something that's actually really interesting. So when you are recurring on Star Trek Picard, they don't give you all of the scripts because they don't want you to like know any spoilers. And so the fun thing is, outside of the episodes that I have gotten the opportunity to do, I'm also going to be an audience member <laughs> right. watching to find out everything that happens. Uh, so yeah. you, when you were getting the scripts for the episodes you're in, did mm -hmm. they provide the whole script? They did. Okay, so. That they did. Got it. Yeah, and I can tell you that the scripts are incredible. Um, even though I wasn't able to you know, know everything that was going on in the series, it's just one of those things that where it, it captures you. And it's so, so much fun watching to see how Picard I mean, you know, it's he, he's like retired and he's being called back into, you know, back into into his old his old path. Um, it, that was my favorite thing, actually, getting to see how he has aged and getting to see how his passion is still there, getting to see the conflict that he has of of, you know, I stepped away from this. I no longer want to, am wanting to do this, but I have to. hundred yeah. percent. Uh, uh, can you reveal what? how many you're in or is it one of these things you have to be quiet about kind of gotta be quiet about it i got it <laughs> completely are you allowed to talk about your character um that i also have to be quiet about got it yes so I know. basically in like a few days i could have asked you more specific questions i yes. understand no it's totally fine <laughs> um maybe talk a little bit about what surprised you on the set about working oh, on the show that's Ma actually my favorite thing sorry didn't mean no, to cut no, you please, off it's fine I, I, I get excited about this because of the fact that, again, this is my first step into sci-fi. And so when I arrived to set that day, my very first scene had like, you know, 65 background in it. But all of the background are all different types of, you know, species of aliens. And so 
every single one of them, every single one of them, it was actually probably more like 120, not 65 that day. It was like 120 background. And every single one of them was in some type of full prosthetics, custom made costumes. This set is one of the most unbelievably gorgeous things that I've ever seen. The The attention to detail was like mind blowing. And so as an artist to get to step onto that set, and I mean, it, it's like you can't really step out of the world, right? Sure, I actually wanna interrupt and just ask a simple question. Yeah. Uh, how much did you pay to be on Picard? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, well, I was paid to be on. <laughs> right. um, so I have deduced as a sci-fi fan that your <laughs> your first scene is in a space station or at the Federation. So is it a space station or the Federation? I can't tell you. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm, I'm just teasing. Um, uh, one of the things that I was super excited by, mm. by Next Generation um, is I loved Whoopi Goldberg as Guinan. And I yes. just saw on The View yes. that Patrick Stewart surprised her and said, would you like to be part of season two? And did you hear her answer? I did. I thought she was crying. Like she was she, crying. Yeah, she was very emotional. So yes. um, talk a little bit about maybe like Whoopi Goldberg, like having her on that show meant a lot to a lot of people. Yeah. If you could sort of talk about that. Yeah. I mean, it meant a lot to me, too. Um, again, like I said, I wasn't a huge Star Trek fan back in the day, but that was actually something that I was very well aware of when I was a kid, that she was that character and was very well aware of the fact that that, you know, you don't see a lot of women that looked like me in those types of positions back then. And so for her getting to come back to the show, I'm super excited to see where they go with this script, what they do with her character. And I actually did get to see one of the um, executive producers uh, earlier this weekend. And she was like, yeah, Whoopi said a definite yes. It's, I'm pretty sure it's happening. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, well, they got greenlit for the second season, mm -hmm. and uh, obviously, you need to know when you're writing scripts whether or not you have a major character like that coming back. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You know. <laughs> um, I've, I've never seen that before, though. Asking someone to come back on national TV. Well, I mean, it's Sir Patrick Stewart. He can do whatever he wants to do. You know. Hundred <laughs> percent. He, he he can literally do whatever he wants to do. But he did say, um, he did preface it by saying um, that Alex Kurtzman, who works on the show gave me permission to ask you this. He did say that. And so it was like a kind of a chain of command things where, yeah, where it wasn't just like, he was just blurting this out. Hey, Whoopi, you want to come back? Completely. I'm now mm. wondering if Whoopi's agent that day was super excited. Oh my God. <laughs> because I would imagine he's like, what? You know, right. It's a great gig. <laughs> um, let's jump into Snowpiercer. Yes. Uh, so that has not premiered yet, but no. they had a panel here at Sundance. Sure did. And uh, I believe it's already been picked up for a second season. Yep. So, which is where you come in. Yeah, that's where I come in. So I will also say that as an actor, that's the first time that I've ever heard of that happening, um, where a show or the executives of a show loved it so much. The network loved it so much that they said, let's do a second season before the first even comes out. So yeah, it will be coming out TNT, May 31st, that's first season. And yeah, second season, that's where I come in. Yeah, it's crazy because the one advantage to this though is that you've started filming season two. Yep, halfway uh, through it. I was gonna say, the advantage to this, obviously there's VFX in this show with the mm -hmm. train going through the world yeah. the way it is, um, but it also, I would imagine, it allows the second season to premiere maybe sooner, mm -hmm. or it definitely allows it to hit in May of the following year. Yeah, I mean, that's my hope. I hope that we're not gonna have to wait too terribly long for season two to drop, especially because of the fact that, oh, well, because I'm on it, but also just because it really is such a fantastic show. The 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 cast, we have Jennifer Connelly um, as one of our main stars of the show. We have David Diggs from Hamilton. We have Lena Hall, who is also an incredibly Tony an incredible uh, Tony Award winning actress as well. I mean, we have just an, such an incredible cast, but even more so, we have an incredible writer who is really taking off with this. That's Graham Mason, and he's our showrunner. He also did Orphan Black, and the man is just brilliant. And it's one of those things where I know they have an idea of like where things are going, but he's always watching on set to see like, oh, you know, he, he's getting ideas, right? <laughs> where if he sees like, oh, you kind of have this like little type of a relationship with this actor over here. Let's see what we can do with that in terms of putting that into some of the scripts down the line. Those are the best showrunners. Exactly. Yeah, they are. Using what you, what you uh, get on set. The yeah. 
can you reveal anything about your character or is it super guarded? It's super guarded, and when season two comes out, you will understand why. <laughs> I won't pressure you. Um, <laughs> what have you seen yourself of season one, and maybe what, because I would imagine, yeah. how much do they show you before filming season two? You know, so I actually didn't see much of season one before season two. I've seen, um, like, different extended clips. I haven't seen any full episodes, uh, but everything that I have seen, like, just blown away by yeah and it's um i want to say too that one of my favorite things about it uh, the tv show especially what i have seen of season one if you read the graphic novel which you have i have uh one of the things that they address there which is how the people got in the tale and uh, in the film they didn't really show that but on the tv show we actually do show that i have so many more questions about snowpiercer but uh um <laughs> It's so it's so tricky when you you know what I mean when you I can't do. Uh, drill down and, and get those things. So I guess I um, where are you filming and when do you wrap? Yeah, so filming in Vancouver. Um, like I said, we're halfway through season two right now and wrapping the end of March. Okay, yeah, so, so very oh, soon. Oh yeah, but you're you're still on it on it. So like, uh, oh yeah, I yeah. flew here directly from Vancouver. <laughs> I was going to say like you, yeah exactly. Oh yeah. Um, okay, well I'm going to stop there and say I sincerely cannot wait to see what you're doing on Picard, and I'll be very mad that I didn't address certain things after I see the episode this week. Um, you know what I can say? I'm a trill, and that's all I can say. That's all. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, Everybody in the room, their faces lit up. <laughs> Look at that. Look I don't know. I started sweating. What happened? <laughs> right. Oh. I could say that. <laughs> right. See that? That's also. I mean, hold on. Look at uh, Thad over there is a very uh, star, a big Star Trek fan, just like me. Um, uh, so for uh, for yeah, I'm not going to get you in trouble. I'm okay. not going to drill down. Thank but you. But we'll we'll be doing a follow up. Um, on that note, thank you so much for coming by. Pleasure. And I really cannot wait to see it. For Pleasure. Real.